my week 37 bump date. I am officially preterm um, and so baby could come anytime. Um, I have three more weeks to go until my due date. It's crazy how fast time is going. Um, everybody kept telling me that um, towards the end I was just gonna want it to be over with and have the baby out but I still feel like time is going by really fast and I don't know if I'm ready for labor yet it's kind of scary so this week baby is the size of a winter melon or a Swiss chard I don't know I don't really eat those things um, but he's about six and a half pounds right now um, this starts the time where babies will fluctuate boys will tend to weigh heavier than girls but um, it's anybody's guess to how much baby will weigh when he comes out. More on baby. Um, he is just um, practicing getting ready for birth. Um, his lungs are fully developed now. He's sucking his thumb a ton. He's able to have more dexterity in his fingers. So he's able to grasp tinier things like his nose or his toes. Uh, he's able to blink, move his head side to side, uh, practice breathing motions. He's developing antibodies to get ready for the outside world and germs. Um, so he's very busy uh, these weeks. Symptoms this week. Um, I'm out of breath a ton, so if I'm trying to talk uh, for a long period of time to somebody, I notice myself like that I need to like take breaths a lot more often and like stop talking and it almost, it almost sounds like I'm about to cry because I keep like pausing and like breathing in, but I'm not, I just can't breathe. Um, so I'm wondering if this means that baby has not dropped yet. Um, because I'm having problems breathing. I'm still having a lot of like nose issues. I still feel like I constantly have a runny nose. I'm sniffling all the time. Anthony thinks I'm crying all the time and I'm not. I'm just, I have a stuffy nose. I have a runny nose. It's annoying. I feel huge. Um, my belly is enormous. It is painful to lean over and bend down anymore. My belly is pretty rock hard too whenever I feel it. Um, baby's still moving around like crazy, although his movements have decreased a ton of what they used to be. I still feel him, but definitely not as much as I used to. Um, and I think it's just he's having less, he's sleeping more and he just has less space to move around. Um, but he still hiccups all the time and I feel those. Cravings, um, I still really crave pop a lot and I crave burgers a lot. I could go for a burger right now, that sounds wonderful. Um, but other than that, no, nothing new or anything uh, of that matter. Um, I'm peeing a lot more now. Um, I have to get up and pee all the time and it's never that much that I end up peeing. Um, so I think, I don't know, like on one hand I'm like, no baby hasn't dropped because I'm out of breath. So he must still be jammed up in my lungs. But on the other hand, I'm like, wow, I'm having to pee a ton more. I think baby has dropped a little bit and he's putting more pressure on my bladder. So I have no idea what's going on. Don't ask me. I definitely have a lot of gas. Um, I burp a lot, I fart a lot, um, so I've been dealing with that. Um, I've been getting cramps here and there, especially after I go to the bathroom, um, but they don't last too long and they just kind of feel like period cramps. I haven't really noticed any swelling. I don't feel like my face is like swelled. My hands are not too swollen or anything. I can still get my wedding ring on and off my finger. Um, my feet, I still fit my shoes. Um, I'm still having to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Some nights I can make it till like 6 a.m. and I surprise myself, but other times I, usually I wake up at about 4 a.m. Um, and then it's hit and miss whether I can go back to sleep after I go to the bathroom. Usually I can't. Like this morning I got up at 4 a.m. and I didn't go back to sleep until 7 maybe. So that was really hard to deal with. I haven't been sleeping all that great. Um, I do fall asleep really easily. I just wake up a ton. Um, I have, I do feel like I am more emotional lately. Um, I think it's just starting to hit me with how close everything is coming and labor soon and 
Um, I'm just starting to feel really stressed out and cry sometimes um, and just kind of freak out, which I think is normal. Like I was saying before, I do feel out of breath a lot, uh, especially if I get up and I'm going up and down the stairs or talking, I just feel constantly out of breath. Heartburn hasn't been too bad this week. Um, it's kind of like hit and miss. Some days I won't take Tums at all. Other days I'll take Tums twice or three times in a whole day. Um, so it really is hit and miss. I haven't had any headaches um, at all, which has been awesome. No nausea at all. I'm hungry all the time. I want to eat all the time. Baby's kicks still tend to hurt. Um, he'll kick me up in the ribs or he'll kick me in the bladder and that won't be the best um, And I definitely feel him like leaning on my bladder as I walk around So like I'll be sitting I'll be like no I don't have to go to the bathroom at all And then I'll get up to go get something and I'll be like okay yeah I really have to go to the bathroom So this week I had my doctor's appointment Like I said in my last video I am starting to go to weekly doctor's appointments And we'll continue that until I give birth um, so this week I went to the doctor's office and they took my weight. I'm weighing about 151, 150 around there. Um, and they say like towards the end of your pregnancy, you really won't like start to gain much towards the end. So I think a 150, 151, 152, I think that's where I'm uh, gonna be for the rest of this pregnancy. Um, and then they took my blood pressure and it was disappointing. My blood pressure was high again. Um, this time it was 144 over 70. So the bottom number was good, but the top number was not good at all, which I was bummed. I was very bummed to see that because I know I knew they were going to freak out about it. So I went into the room and my doctor came in and of course she calmed down my high blood pressure and she said that's concerning they don't want me to get hypertension or preeclampsia or whatever it is you can get um and so she started talking like maybe they want to induce me at 39 weeks which freaked me out um and she said some uh people like to induce at 37 weeks if you constantly have high blood pressure but that worries her and the baby could still end up in the NICU at that point um, but she's definitely starting to think maybe we should induce me at 39 weeks. Um, I don't like that idea. I would rather go on my own naturally. I don't want to have to be induced. Um, I've heard you're more susceptible to get a C-section when you're induced. Um, and it's just a longer labor. And I just, I don't want to have to force baby out when he is not ready to. So I am trying to convince her to at least let me go to 40 weeks. Um, and she seemed like she might be able to, she might be willing to consider that. Um, it kind of depends on how my next couple appointments go. Um, but she wants to keep me healthy, of course, and she wants baby to be healthy, which I totally understand. But I'm having a hard time coming to grips of this might be hypertension or preeclampsia because the high blood pressure is the only symptom that I'm having. I don't have any swelling. I don't have any headaches. I haven't had headaches for months. I don't have any vision changes. Um, they say sometimes you'll feel pain like on your right side underneath your ribs, like that's where your liver is, nothing. I have none of that. The only thing is I have high blood pressure when I come into the office. And honestly, I think I just get really nervous when I go to the doctor's office, especially lately because I know I've had high blood pressure in the past. And so I freak out. I'm I'm naturally an anxious person. And so I think I get there, I freak out and they get take my blood pressure while I'm freaking out and of course it's high so um I'm having a hard time justifying the fact of yeah let's induce me early just because I have high blood pressure whenever I come to the doctor's office now it could really be a legit thing and maybe I constantly have high blood pressure I'm I don't have a blood pressure cuff at home so I don't I don't like monitor my levels all the time but 
I'm thinking like maybe that's a legit thing um, and maybe I just have you know a higher blood pressure but you know it's not like it's like 160 or anything like that it's just in the 140s so I'm bummed um, I cried leaving that appointment because I was just so devastated about the thought of having to be induced um, it's not set in stone yet. Um, next week I will have my 38 week doctor's appointment and we'll see what my levels look like then. Um, but it's not looking good for me to be able to go naturally into labor. Um, I was really thinking I was going to be able to just go past my 40 week um, and go like maybe even two weeks past. Um, but I don't even know if that's a possibility anymore. So I'm really sad, I'm really disappointed about that. Um, but I guess we'll just have to see what next week brings. So in addition to talking about that, my doctor checked um, my cervix to see if I was dilated at all. And what do you know, I'm not dilated at all. I don't even think baby has dropped. Like she couldn't even reach it, it was so far. Like, no, I was not even close. She's like, yeah, you're, I mean, it's normal. I'm a first time mom. It's gonna take me a while to naturally progress. Um, into labor and things like that. So I wasn't even close. Um, another thing with the whole hypertension preeclampsia thing, they tested my urine to see if I had any protein in the urine because that's another sign of hypertension or preeclampsia. Absolutely no protein in my urine, nothing. Um, and so my doctor commented on that and she said, every time we've tested you, you've had absolutely no protein in your urine. But they're thinking that maybe just the time that I go to the doctor's office, I don't secrete protein then, but I might be doing it at other times of the day. So what I got to do or what I get to do is a, um, it's a 24 hour urine catch. So basically they gave me a jug and for 24 hours I have to pee into a cup and then store it into this jug and then after 24 hours I have to go and um, take it to a medical lab and they're gonna test it and see if there's any protein in it and then they also um, will draw my blood uh, to see if I have any keratin in my blood um, which I guess is another sign um, if they test it and it has high levels I am thinking that they're gonna want to induce me uh, right away um, especially because I will be 38 weeks and that's almost full term. So I think they're going to find absolutely nothing in my year and they're going to find absolutely no protein because I honestly do not believe that I have hypertension or preeclampsia. I really do not. So um, I actually did the test uh, over the weekend and then I took it in today um, to the lab and they took my blood and they said the results will be about a day or two. So hopefully by the time I have my next appointment they will have the results and hopefully I'm hoping that they will tell me there was absolutely no protein in the urine and I'm hoping that makes the case for me to continue to keep growing this baby and not get induced. That's kind of where my doctor's appointment went. Um, and I just finished it and then I made another appointment. They did end up having me sit in a chair for five minutes or 10 minutes um, to try to calm down and they took my blood pressure again and it did go down. It was in like the 130s. Um, so they were happy to see that um, and they let me go. But we will see what my next doctor's appointment does. I'm, if you can't tell, I'm just very disappointed. Um, in my blood pressure and I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping that next time I go it'll be low and I can keep cooking this baby but the past couple times it's been high so I think it's just gonna continue to stay high but yeah, but maybe not maybe not maybe uh, maybe it'll go low I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm hoping say you know a little prayer for me um, 
that my blood pressure is low for my next appointment. Um, I really just don't want to have to be induced early. I don't want to have this baby in March. I really want to have him after April um, for Easter. Both my family and Anthony's family are coming to visit us. Um, and so I would really just like to get that holiday out of the way and then focus on baby. So that is my goal. Um, my doctor did seem like maybe she would be willing to let me go to April 4th, my due date. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see what my urine uh, shows and how my blood pressure is for my next doctor's appointment. Over the weekend, over the past weekend, I did, I think, I think I did actually have some Braxton Hicks, Hicks contractions. Now I'm not for sure, because I'm a first mom and I've never experienced this before, but I had these sensations of my belly getting really tight and it would hold that for a couple seconds and then it would loosen up. Um, and they were really painful, not pain, well, they were painful, not really painful, but they were a little bit painful at first and strong. And then over time they got less and less and weaker and weaker, um, and then stopped altogether. So I think those are Braxton Hicks contractions. I'm not sure. Um, don't know if that means I'm getting closer to labor or I've been having them. I'm just now noticing them. I don't know what it means. Um, but it was kind of cool to experience that. I've always wanted to know like what they feel like and so it's a little indication of what labor is going to be like. Um, if I didn't mention this before, I'm definitely getting an epidural because I cannot handle pain. Also this weekend we finally finished the nursery. Um, we got the blind or the curtains up. We got the whole nursery finished. Um, I'm going to plan on doing a video where I show you everything in the nursery. Um, it's really cute. I like it. And we're totally ready. I packed my hospital bag this weekend. Um, so that's all ready to go. Um, I just have to put a couple things in it last minute. Um, but we're basically ready for this baby. Um, which is good because they could end up inducing me early. So um, I think that's kind of where I'm going to leave off for this week. Um, let me show you my 37 week bump. Okay guys, here is my 37 week bump with my shirt on. And this is obviously a maternity shirt, so I feel like it really accentuates like how huge I am. Like, wow, look at that belly sticking out. I was just shocked when I put it on this morning. But anyway, um, here it is with the shirt up. So here is my belly from the side, from the front, and from the side. I feel like uh, it does not look like I have dropped yet. I feel like I still am carrying pretty high. Um, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, but I feel huge this week. Um, baby is getting enormous. All right guys, so again, that's kind of all that I have for this week. Stay tuned next week. I'll be 38 weeks pregnant. I'll have an update from my doctor. Um, send me good thoughts, you know, prayers, anything um, that my blood pressure is low and that they do not want to induce me and that there is no protein in my urine. Um, I really do not want to get induced early. So, um, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. I will definitely have an update for you in my next video. Bye guys.